Hi guys, so today's video is going to be very fun. I had a lot of fun filming it and wanted to make a video that I like to watch. Like I love watching these type of videos on YouTube, so I wanted to make one myself. But it's basically um, a model off duty guideline, like what, what to wear, how to do your hair, and how to do your makeup. So basically I just took inspo from like pictures I've seen online of really pretty models and how their makeup normally looks or what they're wearing or whatever. And I basically did it my own way. You can adjust any of these tips to how they fit you and how they'll look best on you because you know yourself more than I would. That is today's video. Is it too dark? Is it too bright? In the, only, in the world we never know. For a good portion of the video, I used my LCD screen as my mirror. So if I'm looking off to the side, that is why. Is it too bright now? <laughs> no, it's too dark. It's like there's no in between. Yeah, let's get started with the makeup. Do you guys like my really professional backdrop? It's really professional. And my room's ugly right now, so I don't really have anywhere else to fill. I think it's a very known fact that most of the time these models have like perfect glowy skin. They look super healthy and rejuvenated. So for the makeup, I wanna focus on four little tips, but these are the points that I think you need to hit if you're trying to get that model off duty look. But just having like bright under eyes really helps to make your overall face just look much more awake and healthier and more lively. I also like to use a lightweight foundation just to kind of give my skin like an all over, all over even base and tone. I love to use this posy tint blush. It's like a two in one, so it acts as a lip tint and a blush. And it's super blendable and it just kind of looks like natural skin color. And then for bronzer, I just use the Hoola Matte Bronzer. This one is my go-to basically. It's just, it's the perfect shade. Next tip is adding highlighter. Highlighter is like the cherry on top when it comes to having like healthy glowing looking skin. This is my all time favorite highlighter. It's the MAC Soft and Gentle. It's super natural looking and it just looks kind of like an inner glow. And I put this on the high points of my face, like my nose and my cheekbones. And then feathered brows. We all, Instagram loves these. Everyone loves these. Actually, a lot of people don't love these, but I love them and that's all that matters. All that matters is your own opinion. You know what I mean? So to get this feathered brows look, I'm just going in and very lightly filling in the sparse areas of my brows and defining my arch a little bit bit. Wow, I am so great at grammar. I just define my eyebrows a little bit by filling in the arch, any blank or sparse areas. Then I'm taking the Glossier Boy Brow. This is a classic. It's like a <clears throat> when my voice gives out. <laughs> just to thicken my eyebrows and slightly, slightly like spruce them up. Nothing too wild, but just to make them look a little bit more roughed up. And as another like quick and easy thing to do, I just take the Hoola bronzer that I used on my face and I use it for eyeshadow. It's a double whammy, two in one. Easy, 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 easy money. And my last and complete final tip is using lip liner. I love the look of taking your natural lip color and just picking a shade slightly darker and then lining your lips and putting on lip gloss. I think this goes back to that super healthy, juicy, glossy, all that good stuff. My favorite lip gloss in the world is this Dior one. It just, I don't know what it does. It looks like your lips just drank a nice tall glass of water and that's the look that we are going for. And then to seal the deal in and keep our look fresh all day, I just use a setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray my all-time favorite. And so that is the finished look for makeup. Super glowy, very natural, and just very like accentuating your natural features. Voila. So on Instagram, so many models seem to have this like beautiful, natural looking wavy hair. And I have naturally stick straight hair. I'm not a big fan of it, but we can fix that. I'm using the Bedhead Wave TG crimper thing. It's very big and creates these like really natural looking waves. So I just separate my hair around my ears and then I lightly spray it with some heat protectant. I very gently clamp onto my hair. I don't leave it on very long because I don't want the crimps to be too tight. Plus I only add in a few because my hair is already like day two or three from having previous curls in. This is awesome because it just gives your hair some texture. It's great for pictures. And then also if you're gonna be doing any other future hairstyles, this is just a good way to add some volume to your hair. Before the video goes on, I have some like dry shampoo stuff on my nose and it's really annoying, but 
We're just gonna pretend that's not there. But another way to like add some dimension and spice up your hairstyle is adding some loose braids to the front of your face. To the front, is that? That is not correct grammar. It's just adding some front braids. This is really great for framing your face and adding some cool dimensions to your hair. And then my last hair tip idea, whatever you wanna say, is adding these hair scarves or hair bandanas and tying them in your hair. I'm not trying to be Charlie Dimensional at all, but you guys know what I'm, you, you see where I'm coming from? I do think this is super cute, whether you tie it up like bunny ears or if you do it almost like the farmer girl style, do whatever fits your liking or what fits your face. And if you're extremely extra and you're going for that really fun Instagram post or just everyday hairstyle, whatever you're into, hair extensions. I know that these are not cheap, but if you do have them, this is such a pretty way of mixing up. Some models have the most gorgeous long hair and that's something that it's hard for me to naturally have. I don't have the time nor the patience to, to sit around and let my hair grow down to my butt. So that's why hair extensions are here, here for us, here for us all. So I think these are, I can't talk anymore. Just forget everything I'm saying, okay? So for this first model off duty look, I'm going for an all black slimming outfit. My goal for this is to make my legs look elongated and seamless. So basically I'm pairing these American Eagle jeans with some black Doc Martens, a black turtleneck I thrifted and this leather jacket. Even though this is an all black outfit, it's very eye catching because it's the monochromatic and plus the black boots with the black pants looks very seamless and helps to make your legs look even longer. Legs for days. And then for the second look, I'm pairing the same jeans and top with this denim jacket. I love this denim jacket because it's structured a little bit differently and instead of being buttoned up, it's a zip up. This is from Brandy Melville and then I'm pairing it with some black and white Converse. A lot of model off duty pics I saw, they were wearing Converse. I just feel like they're a very good casual and go-to shoe that, that match a lot of outfits. And then I paired this casual look with some chunky gold earrings I thrifted and then this colorful bandana just to complete the look all together. Au revoir, everybody. What does au revoir mean? Does that mean goodbye? I don't know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you had a fun time. I will have everything I'm wearing down in the description box down below. I'll have it linked. Plus, I have my Instagram down there if you want to follow me. I also have a vlog channel where I sometimes vlog me and my crazy family. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all later. Bye, Felicia. <sighs> When my tag's still on. I ordered this dress for a dance and I haven't taken the tags off yet. That wasn't really embarrassing. I hope no one saw that. But I've already refilmed this intro twice. So we're gonna call it good. Just pretend that tag is not there. Okay, bye. When my windows are open and my entire neighborhood can see me filming my YouTube videos, that is so fun. Bye, bye, bye.